Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're going to go up to Monhegan Island and paint this uh, view of the island in. And it's from Swim Beach. Uh, it's, it's looking up at the inn, which is a nice, a nice angle. So take your time uh, drawing it out. It's a little complicated. Uh, some nice angles there on the inn. There's a series of dormer windows that, that are interesting and make it you know, iconic because everyone knows the inn. It has a great, dorm, uh, great cupola there on the top. All right, we'll drop some uh, variations of blue, cobalt blue, Windsor blue or thalo blue, whatever, uh, in the sky, get a nice bright, bright sky. Beautiful place to visit. If you haven't been there, you should, you should take a trip up. It's a wonderful place to, to visit. All right, so we got a nice, a nice blue sky. I'm painting the, uh, the gray shingles now, this, the building itself is, is you know, weathered, weathered shingles, so it's a beautiful gray. So you really need to learn to mix grays. Now the gray is a cobalt blue with a touch of raw sienna. And if it gets too green looking, drop some rose in there and the rose will neutralize it and, and, and make it green. It's a really important part of your mixing process to, to learn how to make beautiful grays. It's the beautiful grays make those beautiful dark colors sing, as Gene Doby tells you all the time, <laughs> making colors sing. All right, so we're painting the whole building uh, this beautiful gray. And uh, over here we have the roof. For the, this roof has got a little green to it, so I added a little more, uh, a little touch of, uh, actually that's cobalt blue teal. It's a very light green, the green shingles. And now we're back to the gray of this building. This is another building next door. It has a gray foundation. I'm painting around the windows, but normally I'd paint right over all that, but the windows have a nice white trim, so I'm leaving that. A little strip of shingles on top here. All right, let's get into the rocks. Now, th this is beautiful, beautiful rocks. What we're going to do here is, is put a few layers of color. I will start with this raw sienna and just paint the whole thing, all the rock shape, that whole big shape, raw sienna, maybe a little bit of quinceana here on the base. You know, it gets, it does get, the, the surf comes in there and, on storms and so forth, so the rocks get very dark at the base. So I put some rose on there. Let the rose come down. Take a breath, <laughs> you know, take a breather. Put the color on and let it come down. Watch it, it's very beautiful. Okay, very beautiful. Let the color mix itself. Don't press too hard. You're just dropping it on. See how beautiful that looks. Look at those. You, you get beautiful colors and, you know, mixes that you'll never, you'll never do on your own. Well, that's drying. I'm uh, painting the sand. The sand, as you know, is always uh, raw sienna, little bit of a uh, rose or quinceana, and then cobalt blue to the point where you, you uh, light the color. Sometimes it's very gray, sometimes it's you know, much warmer. All right, I took a dry brush there, I don't know if you saw that, and just a damp brush, and just lifted off the highlights on the rocks. Uh, just so you know, when you're painting it, you know, the light is hitting the top of those rocks, and it's darker where the plane change is, okay? All right, I'm painting the shadow side of the building here. Same gray, a darker gray. Cobalt blue, raw sienna, and rose. You know, if you want to add a little bit of uh, ultramarine to that, that's fine. So just look at the photo, paint the, you know, paint the, uh, the shadow side of the building. 
those dormers are a lot of fun to paint. So they're in basically in shadow, and then one one dormer is casting a shadow on the other dormer, so you get a nice a nice sense of direction of light there. Okay, then the building in front, the, the left side of the building is all in shade. You got a shade on the dormers. Dormers casting a nice shade on the on the rooftop. A little red chimney in the middle. Beautiful color, cadmium red and cobalt blue. Mix them together to get a beautiful brick color. And that'll last you your whole career. Just that beautiful mix of color. All right, pop in these windows using a little flat brush here. Uh, just, just the blue gray here. All right, same, same thing. A little bit of uh, phthalo blue will give it a sky reflection in the windows. We've got a ton of windows here. Okay. Little dormers on all, all the windows all have dormers. All the dormers all have windows, I'm sorry. Nice shadow on the left side with the window reflecting. Right, there's a deep shadow there where the house is casting a shadow on, actually it's on the rock and there's a bush there. So we mixed up a real dark here with ultramarine and quinciana. And you can, you know, drop a little bit of raw sienna in, in, in there also, you know, get a nice mixture. So a lot of calligraphy there. We're doing all the nooks and crannies of these rocks. You know, all the big cracks, and so study out the photo here. And, you know, you, know, you don't have to, you're not doing a portrait of the rock, so you can sort of make up the cracks as you go along, and, you know, whatever looks good to you. But get, you know, you get inspired by looking at those, that photo of the rocks. A lot of shadows and cracks, and uh, crevices here. Okay. Take your time and just keep keep studying the whole thing. There's a you know a big photo here, so all right, so there's a plane change here. You can see there's a light on the rock. And then as the rock turns down towards the sand, it gets a little darker. So it's getting a little less light. So you can go back and just put a little wash on that. Uh, you can use, you know, the raw sienna, quinciana, very light. A little bit of cobalt blue mixed in there. Just bring that down. Over here it's a little darker, a little dirtier. But you can see, you know, just dropping some uh, quinciana here and there and spreading it out. But leave the light on the top there. You don't want to go too, you know, too dark up there. Just put, mixing a little warmth into that. All right, we got the, the uh, shrubbery here, which is beautiful. It adds a lot of nice color to it. So this is just cobalt blue with some uh, ribbon yellow, or you could use some cad yellow light, or, you know, whatever your favorite greens are here. <coughs> little touch of uh, Windsor blue with the, the yellow will give you a really nice bright green or cobalt blue teal will give you a beautiful bright green. So you got some, this is a cobalt blue with, with some raw sienna. It's a little darker grass shrubbery there growing inside the rocks, growing out of the rocks, running all along the house, in between the rocks adds a nice color to this whole scene, you know. But I, I love the perspective of looking up at the inn like this from the beach. It's a very iconic. Everybody knows, everybody knows the uh, Island Inn. Thousands of people go up to Monhegan every year. And I'm just placing a bunch of big black rocks that, that are on the beach. 
Uh, as always, you know, when you're doing a bunch of rocks like this, important to remember to make them a different size and shape, make them all different. By adding a little more color to the sand here, a little quincienna with some cobalt blue, a little gray, all right, leaving it a little lighter towards the stone, towards the rock and the stone. All right, I'm adding a little color to the base of the rocks. That's just quincienna with a little, little cobalt blue there. And then spreading it around. Uh, it's very dry brush technique here. You want to get the roughness of those rocks and, you know, the different way it's formed. But you can see how nice that that warmth looks, okay? So I'm gonna put a uh, flag up there as a pole, and it always has a nice big US flag on the top. So just a little cadmium red to make the stripes. And then a little bit of ultramarine blue for the stars, okay? All right, I hope you like that, uh, uh, this video. That's a great place to visit. Spend a week, a few days up there walking around the island. Wonderful time. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again very soon.